Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can install Meteor Attack Navigator locally. So there are a lot of resources on online that guides you on how to make use of the online version of Meteor Attack Navigator. But very limited resources apart from the official documentation on how you can have it done um, in your local computer. And one advantage of having it local is that um, you might um, want to do some kind of customization on the interface and some of its features. And you will not be able to do all that if you are using the one online. Um, so I'll be sharing my screen very quickly. This will be a very short video. Yeah, so I believe you can see my screen. Yeah, I believe my screen is visible. Yeah, so this is the official um, GitHub page for Meteor Attack Navigator. And this tool is just, um, it's just a platform that will allow you to know the techniques and the tactics of an attacker as against the um, indicators of compromise. So it allows you to know the thoughts, the thought process and the paths that an intruder would use against your organization rather than the evidence that they are going to be leaving behind. So I would be um, just going through it very quickly. So th there are two main requirements here. You need to have Node.js installed as well as Angular CLI. So I just want to say that as for the Node, I faced a little issue because I had two nodes installed in my system. There's the normal node and also the node.js. And I believe you can see my terminal right now. So I'll be showing you something. Um, a moment. Okay, so this is my terminal. Um, if I should do um, node slash v, it tells me the version of the node that I have installed. If I should do node js, it tells me the version of the node js also. Um, don't be deceived that they are both the same thing. They are the same thing because I have taken extra steps to ensure that both are the same thing. But initially, one of them was a, was an older version and the other was a more recent version. I believe the current node should be version 19 or so. So um, you need to make sure that, I believe that this Meteor Attack Navigator makes use of this first, the node version, this one here. So if you have this updated and this is not, you might have my face some issues and the way to update them are different. So um, I'll be sharing the links in the description that I just want to um, allow us have a look at them. So if, if you want to update the Node.js, you can use the, um, the sudo apt command, which is the official command from um for Ubuntu repos. Um this um link here from Linode would guide you into installing a particular version. So you can see the specification here. We have 16.x it tells you that that's the version you want to have installed. And if you want to install just the node, um I usually use NVM which is node version manager to install that and this um, link from free code camp does the magic for me very straightforward so if i want to install version 17 nvm install 17 and that would do the magic or if it's version 16 nvm install um 16 and it would have it done immediately so um and as for angular as for angular we want to install Angular, just, um, this is the official page. Um, 
So, this is the official page. Yeah, so um, I don't want to waste time with this, but I installed it using um, um, so it was npm install angular odds like CLI. I believe this was what I used. I believe this was what I used. So I already have it installed. It. I think this is what I use. I don't install it here again. Um, oh, it have it installed. So this is loading. So this was what I used to install it. Let me close this because I do not want to install it again. Um, but that would that should do the magic for you. Then um, from the official documentation, after meeting these two requirements for Node and Angular CLI, all you need to do is come over here, download this repo, then you navigate to the um, to the nav app directory, which I would be. This is the nav app directory. Then you open your terminal from here. And you are good to go. You are good to go. Yeah, so um, then you just run npm install. I already installed the node modules, but this is all you need to do npm install. And this would install all the relevant modules in the package.json file. Then um, I don't want to install it again. Then after that, um, you run ng-self, which is for the Angular ng-self, which I'll be doing right now. ng-self. Yeah. So this would, um, this would um, run our application. That's the Meteor Attack Navigator. It's a very wonderful tool. It's highly underrated. It's very beneficial to security engineers. Yeah, so it's running, it's running. Coming up. Steven. Yeah, so it's coming up. Just give it some time to build the application. So with this now, um, you have access to all the codes, all the front end, everything that um, was used to build this application. So very, very good. It's, you can customize it, you can save portions of it, you can create a backend for it, you can connect it to some kind of services and create use. So this is gonna take some time. So let me close some of what I have running already. Exit here. 
to load in. Yeah, you can see compiled successfully. So we are good to go. So the application is live in Lucas 4200, which I'll be loading right away. So I can open a new tab and go to local host 4200. And if everything goes well, we should see the meter attack navigator locally. It should have the local version installed. So I, I'm using a very, very lightweight um, Linux computer, not my main computer. So it's a little bit slow, but um, usually this should be something like in Sala. Uh, but I just want everything to work well. Yeah, so it's coming up, it's coming up, it's coming up. My computer is really slow. I'm, I have a lot of things running at the same time. Yeah, so we have it Yeah. So in this video, we've seen how to is install Meteor Attack Navigator locally. And we've also gone through the requirements and how in an Ubuntu machine, you have two different node installation. So there is one from the, there's one which is called node and there's another one which is called node.js, node even though both are essentially the same thing, at least to my own understanding. For some reasons, I'm not still quite clear why there are two, but that's how it is. Okay, so thank you. I'll stop sharing now.